Alamil and we got two missions here that we gotta do. Oh, you're still here. Here to help me? Thanks, but I'll be traveling light. You're really going to go through with it? I am, but before... If it's within my power to help you... It's the children. And if I leave them here, they surely will. I can think of only one place where they are certain... Of course. Thank you, Clive. No more. I just... What is it, Ferda? You look... There's been a flood in the Velcroy. A damn big one. The League of Outlaws encampment was completely submerged. What? Every last one of the bastards and bandits oh, are one shit. thing. But Akashic bandits are quite another. The town... We need to evacuate. There's... Herder, gather them. The Akashic may strike at any moment. You must make ready to cover the townspeople. Well, what are you waiting... Yes, my lord. Clive, change of plan. The children stay with me for now. I need you to find Conrad and Natalie. Tell them to prepare for a full and immediate... Understood. I'll do what I can to convince everyone else. Lines in the sand, too. What's in you have to listen to me. They're coming. Why do they always have to make such a... What do you want? To pass on an important... There's been an ether flood. The camp where the so-called League of Outlaws were gathering has been swallowed. They're no longer just bandits. They're Akashic now. You need to begin preparing for a full-scale of... Oh, do we? And who was... Lubor, perhaps? The man spreading the same poison out in the square as we speak. You may believe his lies, my lord, but we know... But why would he lie about... Ah, you don't like know this? shit. Some twisted attempt to... If he had not been unmasked... He may well have been elected. A great honor for one of his kind. One he might well feel a great... Lord Underhill, forgive me, but it has become all too evident where Lubor cannot be trusted, and me... You may not trust me, but for the sake of your people, ask us if there is any chance that... There isn't. You can be certain of that. Now be off with you. You're making a mistake. Come, Clive. If our words will not move them, then we must find another way to help save the town. You're right. Let's speak to Lord Ferda. I think we'd better shut up. What's Lubor raving about now? Lord Ferda. Sid. I went to warn Conrad and Natalie about the Akashic, but they've convinced themselves that nothing Lubor says can be a bloody fool, which means the town guard can't be counted on for support. But I can. If there's anything I can do to help, you only have to ask. I appreciate it. Sid! Ferda! I've been looking for you everywhere! Victor? I couldn't abandon them, and Lubor is in need at this very moment. Oh, what now? to believe me the akashic are coming they don't eat they don't sleep they don't tire and they don't care who they kill they're unlike anything that's come before there will be no parley no mercy granted we may have saved the town once but this is different <laughs> i do not ask that you forgive me but please Believe me, if you do not run, you will die. You will all fucking die! Huh? <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you, bearer? Yeah, with us out of the way, your kind will be free to claim Dalamil for yourselves. You should run! <laughs> Fucking idiots, man. Run, Let him die. Let him die. I don't even care about this town no more. Wait. Someone's coming. Stop! You're hurting him! 
fucking dickheads. They had kids? Oh my god. What did Lubor ever do to you? Hmm? He solves all your stupid problems and he keeps all of you safe. You know there's nothing he wouldn't do for this town. Who was it who made that cleaver you use every day, Conrad? And what about your counting table, Natalie? Who fixed that? Whose men make sure the streets are clean so all your boots don't get dirty? Who spends all day every day making sure things run smoothly around here? And none of you ever say thank you, ever! But did Lubor ever complain? Well, does he ever stop smiling? He keeps this whole place going! And you act like it doesn't even exist! Lubo, we have heard enough. Wait! We will not run. The town guard will not abandon the very place it is sworn to protect. And I will not give up for lost the stores that we labored so hard to fill. <sighs> so tell us. How do you propose we deal with these Akashic of yours? We won't run, but we will fight. Now they turn their mind real quick. Just ready to pelt this guy to death with rocks. Fine. around if you don't want to die oh. are you finally going to war or what Allow me to explain the situation. The ether flood occurred near the village of Charatina. The place had been abandoned. Until the League of Outlaws decided to... Now they are all turned. And they are mindless. With the bandits, we at least... And these creatures... The town guard, both forces, and as soon... Conrad. Always. I leave the selection and coordination of the messengers in your hand. And the command of our men in yours further. If you would both consider it done. As you wish. Natalie, I would ask that you and your people have the townsfolk barricade themselves and tell the merchants not to waste time securing anything beside the essentials. Preserve. As long as we survive, it doesn't matter what trinkets we might lose. Our riches can be regained. And if anyone doubts that, let it be known that the Briar's Kiss stands ready to cover any losses. Very well. I shall tell them. Where do I fit into this plan? Where else but the most? I would like you to travel to the home of our erstwhile League of Outlaws. Cheratit main host is most likely still there. And Dalamil will not be safe until it is a, a little gardening. <sighs> I doubt. Luckily, so, so you. All right, then. We now it's simple. All right. Get to work. Get to work. Looks like everyone. Oh, you just fast travel. Oh, now you want to start sprinting. <laughs> you can't leave a single one alive. Yeah! 
trying to kill me this entire time. Nope. The league is dead. I should get back to Dalamil and see how the All the Akashic we were able to find have been dealt with. Seems that might be the last of them. Lugo, Sid, Clive has returned. Clive! What you... It's done. I knew you wouldn't let... Thank you, my lord. Friends, the Horde has been driven back. The Akashic have been... And we need not fear the... Victory is ours. We bloody did... <sighs> we... Lubo. After all you have done for this town. But we did. And we only hope that you can forgive us. We need you, Lubor. So, if you would still like to be considered for the position of man, You do remember that I'm a... We do. But that is not a stain on your character. It is a stain on ours. We thought only of what we perceived bearers to be. Not what you truly are. The man who s I see. But I will only accept you- Name them. Firstly, that you will both do everything in your power to rally your people to my cause. If the Town Guard and the Merchants League do not accept my leadership, it will be do- Unity is the key to defending Dalamil. And I do not... When that time comes, I... Of course. And secondly... You will accept that if I am to lead you, the mistreatment of bearers must end here in Dalamil. Any bearer within our walls shall be afforded the same rights as any other... They will not be judged by what they are. As we failed to do, and came so close... We agree to your conditions. And we have only one in return. That you continue to condition accept. Well then, it seems my mayorship is all but confirmed. Let's do this shit. Ubor is mayor of Dalamil. Let's go. Party. How fickle. Not so long ago, I had resigned myself to leaving. And now, here. Lubo. Fear not, you are of course relieved. I would sooner face another horde of Akashic than see them br I'll make sure they're safe here. I don't doubt that you will, and not just the children. I'll... can't have all your...
April's kids came to the rescue, man. Had the town folks seeing reason. Briar's Kiss signboard, last breath of light impulse. Collect six signboards, nice. Another mission around here somewhere, isn't there? I thought there was. Oh, there's two missions here. Ah, well, guess I'm wrong. Hideaway we go. <laughs> there's more missions at the hideaway. These motherfuckers want me to do everything, and I'm going to. Okay, before we head over there, we're gonna go head to the bounty board and um, the whisper or something. Can't remember what it's called. Whispering Willow. Oh, we got even more. Pep RSA and the Pentient Gate. You know what? I need one more gear piece or something, right? So I'm hoping one of those are this, because I need to, I want to craft that sword. So Cape Orisa and the Pentient Gate. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Patreon Whisper. All yours. Obtain all available items from the patrons. So follow an enigma. And I think this is a song, I guess. Come again. Well, I may have we completed the you. patrons whisper stuff. So no more items to collect. Or just too bad. I wish there were more items. There's something about this. Still alive, are you? Just about. You'll not find a better price than that. Is that all? All right, how many side missions you got for me in here? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Eon, you have my sincere guide to the Master Hippocrates. Okay. It does seem fond of the silver. Oh, we got. Okay. Thank you, Clive, for indulging the whims of John. Okay. Oh, this is from uh, uh, Cyril. Oh, this is the. Okay. Concern for Jill. Joshua was worried about Jill. Priceless. I'm just skimming these, really. Not really reading them. Oh man, we're filling this place up. Got one, two, three left. I just need one more dark steel, man. Anything else? Ah, I guess not. Joshua, I don't think I'd realized how different. Since we returned from Dr I suppose she doesn't and that's why to let her but how of course you remember the time we accompanied father on his annual tour of the dun and Jill and I broke from the procession to ride up back yeah, to see the snow daisies it was the first time how many it was the Lord Commander who finally found us and needless to say 
Then it seems you no. and Jill have unfinished business. Man's Hill. Oh, true. Though I suspect it is also much changed. Little in You're saying I should go and scan. Uh, I'm saying. <laughs> Let's go to Sam Breck real quick. Uh, no, actually, I want to see what are the places again. I want to go hunt those things real quick. Before we do the mission. I forgot what the areas were already. Uh, Cape, Orisir, and the Pentadence Gate. Cape Oris Air Pentinence Gate. Ugh. Okay. Can not see anything from this height? I'm assuming Pentinence Gate is an actual gate. Oh, Cape Orisir is over here. Pentinence Gate is all the way at the end of the Aura Flame there. Alright. What's the best way to travel through here? We can exit out this way. And now my I help the garrison today. Things didn't fight like men. And I'll just put a marker over there. Fly Ambrosia. Ah, damn, Aether is strong over here. Straight home now. Never know what's in those boxes. Could be a whole ass weapon in there as far as I'm concerned.
uh, Chronolith, which is just the hand of Mimas or Mamis or whatever the hell it said. Alright, around here somewhere, I guess. It's gonna eventually. Oh, is that it out there? I see something out there. Hello. It's a lich. Prince of Death. What a name. God, I parried him. There we go. That was actually very easy. I'm glad. I'm glad that A ranks are starting to becoming really easy for me. I mean, I've I beat a few S ranks as well, so it's not like Dark Steel. It's the last one I need for the sword. Let's go. I'm getting tired of these things. We'll go build that sword when we go back to um, the hideaway after the mission, I guess. I want to go hunt this last one down. I'm just excited now. <laughs> Let's go hunt this one down, then we'll go do the priceless mission, and then we'll go back to the hideaway, craft the Gotarumung, or whatever the hell, and we're going to call it quits after that, as long as there's no more side missions left. Then we're going to call it quits, because we're going to the last stretch of the game. The last little bit. It's a lot of beasts out here, man.
damn that aether floods are so wild like they're blatantly just blue all over the place like look at that so much is that a fast travel point never got this one i guess Safe. The fast travel point all the way out here has never been activated. Knight of the Splendent Heart. Yes, yeah, the dragoon, right? Board. Let's go. That's all of them. Damn it. Dion would have been glad to have you back at his side. Eh, look at that. Got a fast travel point all the way out here now. <laughs> this is a little edge here. Oh, I thought there would be something here. There isn't. Am 
I am Hawk Cry Cliff or whatever. Let's go finish off this side mission. So many side missions this session, guys. It's about it's almost five hours into the session. And it's just been like side missions. <laughs> There's a good amount of story in the beginning. Here be Rossfield. Is it all areas on the world and local map? Oh shit. Damn, that works out perfectly. This is the place, but I'm sorry, Clive. We keep looking. Man's Hill cannot be the only place where- Perhaps, but it's the only place I know of. Then why not ask someone who- Someone at the backyard. Oh, we're going back to the backyard. Okay, perfect. The hideaway we go, we can just craft our weapon. Let's go, baby. Crafting the strongest weapon as far as I know. Let's hope one of the gardeners knows where to find snow daisies. So, will it be? There we are. He uses the Ragnarok sword as well. Right. Craft the legendary sword, Godter Damaron. Assuming we can't upgrade it? No. How much does it do? It does 375. Uh, fine. Looks kind of cool too. Actually, it looks kind of like the Ragnarok sword. Oh, we've corrected the. Legendary sword, Gatorangam, Gatorangam, or whatever. <laughs> 375, man. If that's the highest we can get it, then we're going out fully kitted into the final bit of this game. It's good. I need your advice. Joshua and I are looking for a place. Snow daisies. Uh, I reckon Man's Hill would be a good place to start. There in the Royal Meadows, perhaps? Both have similar climbs and the right elevation. If the blight hasn't clicked. Right. Did you oh, there's the flowers. We might find our... The gardener here mentioned the royal meadows in ah the fields beyond Northreach. Well, if that's the case, then Yote, I recall that she kept the record of our travels. You see, so I asked her if she'd perhaps noted anywhere that snow daisies grew, and she mentioned whose shores border the meadows. Back to Sembrek. Just literally came from there. Ah, we're headed that way. The exit's over here, if I remember correctly. And now my eye helped the garrison today. Things didn't fight like men. All right, where are we going exactly? So we'd go inside the For let's light the entire place on fire. See them. The flowers. Oh, something else is coming. What do you see, boy? Oh, Minotaur. I fought a Minotaur in a minute. Let's hope this is the last one.
Right up the fucking gooch, bro. Go, baby. And to our main. That was harder than I expected. We found what we're looking for, baby. But found her. She loved them. It appears my work is done. The rest, well, we wouldn't want another thunderstorm now, would we? <laughs> Back to our room. Fancy a trip to all. There are so many. This is what you wanted to. Sh oh, yeah. You don't need to say anything. The smile on your face is enough. We've been worried about you. You remember when I took you to Man's Hill? <laughs> How could I forget? You saw me crying and thought a change of scenery might lift me, and it earned me a nasty cough and a stern scolding from your mother. No. <laughs> but I felt wonderful nonetheless. I'm sorry. I had no idea what I was getting us both into. But I couldn't bear to see you like that. Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my marriage prospects with some of the noblewomen at court. They were debating whether it would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high houses instead of saving me for the ducal line. No one thought to ask me what I wanted. I was nothing to them. A pawn at best. I felt so trapped. So lonely. I didn't know. But I wasn't alone. You were there. Your hand in mine as we ran for those oaks. And I knew then, no matter what happened, I would be all right. I'll never forget that feeling. Before we broke camp, the morning after the storm, do you know what I did? No. What? I 
slipped away from my governess to climb the tor. And from there, I saw a sea of petals, all reaching for the sun. And I realized that no matter how terrible the night, dawn would always come. That you, that you would always come for me. And you have, again and again. Where do you see us when all this is over? Everything we've been through. The realm just seems so small. I'll need some space to spread my wings. Then that's what you'll have. And I'll stop at nothing to see that you do. Man, this music is beautiful. I never was much good at garlands, but it'll have to do. I'll treasure it forever. Thank you, Clive, for this, the flowers, uh, everything. It's exactly what I needed. You are my treasure. We should probably be getting back. I expect you're right. And we'll do it together. Quest complete. Snow Daisy Garland and Shiva's Kiss. Reduce diamond dust cooldown by 7.5 seconds. Running hands with Jill, Jill and Jill class burning will remain with him until departing for origin. Oh. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything around here. It's a dangerous world out there. Aye, it is. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. From Jill. Missing two things, guys. We'll talk to Hippocrates real quick, see if we can see if we can uh, level up another and whatever this is called, I guess. The shelves, the archives, or whatever. Level up our knowledge, I guess. I don't know. 
I was wondering when next you visit. I well recall. He truly? It will take for from him. I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. Max. This is a rather fascinating excerpt I've been meaning to show you. What subject shall we consider today? We maxed out everything, guys. Let's go. All right. There we have it, Max, Age of Ages. You are always welcome, Clive. There we have it. All right, all right. But no missions around here. No missions anywhere. Main mission is what's left. But we are going to call it quits right here. I'm going to go rest up before we go into this. We're 87% complete the game. We're closing into the end here. And I have done literally essentially everything. If there's more side missions after this, we're going to do them. But damn. <laughs> hey, our party. Look at that. Party's Jill, Joshua, Torgal, and then obviously ourselves. We're level 48. How many hours have I played? Does it tell me? No, it just tells me it's two. That's when this last save was. It doesn't tell me how many hours I played. I wish it had told me. Uh, but roughly about uh, game says 44 hours. That is quite a lot. But we're closing in at the end here. I'm going to call it quits right here. I'm going to rest up and also the audio will be better coming back. These were just side missions, so I didn't really care if the audio was lagging behind a little bit. But for main mission, story, and stuff, I want the audio to be as perfect as possible. So I'm going to call it quits right here. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.